بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم This is part 4 of tutorial series In this tutorial we will learn about spinner We have uh, learned about it in the previous tutorial as well But uh, there we provided the data to spinner at uh, and the XML file So today we will uh, um, provide data to spinner at runtime and at runtime it is quite important to uh, provide data to spinner because if you are creating a, a spinner and you are loading data from the API so you will provide uh, the data array at runtime to that so let's start the tutorial and learn about it first go to file new new project now the, it is an empty project empty activity project next now uh, we will uh, create spanner at with runtime data now finish the project is created successfully so now we will go to resources and uh, go to the out and add a, a spanner to it The width of the spinner is quite large, so we will make it a bit small, and the height is uh, small, so we will make it a bit large, and the height is 40 dp, that is perfect size. And from the top, we will give it a uh, 100 dp so it is 100 dp from the top and the top uh, the, now the spinner is created so um, the let's see the id the id of the spinner is spinner so uh, now move to the main activity dot uh, java file and create a spinner here let's first create a reference to spinner Now we will attach the XML spinner to the Java spinner. So now we create an array here uh, with some values so that we can add that array to the spinner through adapter. So I've created this project already, so I will copy and paste the array there into that project. Now the project is here, yeah, the array is here, uh, it has values up to 10. Now we will create an array adapter quickly. Note, array dot uh, take three arguments, three parameters. The first one is the context, in which context uh, we are using um, this array adapter so they can text in main activity but this and you can simply give this uh, this to it and the second it take a, a layout resource you can see here it uh, take a layout resource so uh, 
you can create a custom layout file as well but uh, uh, here we can use the default uh, uh, layout resource file that are provided by Android Studio so let's use that Android Studio SDK uh, actually it is uh, provided by the Android SDK Sample drop down item because spanner is a drop down, so we will select the sample drop down layout. And now, here we will give the uh, pass the array list of objects, so we will uh, provide the number array. Now we will set an item selected listener on the spinner so that when an item is selected and um, it is shown in a toast, we can we are able to show it on a toast. Okay. Now here we will show the toast. Here we have two type of toast. The first one, if I click the first one, I have to uh, write down all the whole line myself. But if I select the second one, it will automatically create all the necessary thing, and I have to only add the value I want to show to it. I mean that both the toast are the same but uh, for one you have to write the whole code and in the second it automatically Android Studio automatically create all the code for you. Now let's run this app. Now the app is up and running on the emulator. Now we will check it if it is working or not. Okay, all the values up to 10 are shown on the list on the drop down. So if I select 6, 6 is shown as you can see. If I select 2, Two is shown. Ten is shown. Similarly, you can create a, a, a spinner at a, a runtime. Uh, runtime spinner are important because uh, when you are loading uh, if data from APIs, then you need this this runtime adapter. And when we go forward in this uh, tutorial series, we will learn uh, about uh, custom spinners and de loading data from the um, APIs. Um, but uh, that will be, uh, let's see when the time comes for that. So it is enough for today. So goodbye.